Hi there, Andrew here. I love to be entertained, but I have no patience. So I give every show I watch only one episode to hook me. Welcome to Debut Review. Ranma One Half. Not really sure exactly how the title is supposed to be pronounced. One slash two? At Ranma One Two? Don't know. But uh, let's talk about Rumiko Takahashi. Uh, she, I, her, I've not seen or read all of her works, maybe half of her major output, and I run kind of hot and cold on her. Uh, for example, I'm a really big fan of, um, well, not huge, but I, I quite enjoyed Urusei Yatsura, but uh, Meisun Ikoku, uh, the, I didn't really care for, didn't dislike it just never connected with any of the characters um mermaid saga i really like uh ranma half haven't seen one pound gospel have a no familiarity with nor rumic theater i think that's a i think that's an anthology if i'm maybe i have read that i don't remember um uh, inuyasha i saw a few episodes of didn't care for uh rin ne Never heard of it, and Mao, which 2019, that very recent one, hadn't heard of that one either. So, um, yeah, I, I, I definitely like her style. Uh, she's got a lot of charm to her uh, stories. Um, so I'm, I, I've, I've been aware of Ranma One Half for a long, long time. Just uh, one of the ones I've uh, never gotten around to reading or watching. So uh, now I'm going to watch the first episode of something that ran for like seven seasons there's there's a lot of it so um let's see after falling into a cursed chinese spring ranma salatome changes gender when hit with cold water specifically cold water huh huh i i was aware of the basic premise uh, i didn't realize it was specifically cold water but okay uh, Ranma one half. Let's check out the first episode. No! I cried to the heavens when I turned this show on. One of the characters opened their mouths and despicable, disgusting, horrible English came out. So I turned it off, and I was like, harumph, I'm not going to watch an English dub. To be fair, I wouldn't watch a French dub, or a Spanish dub, or a German dub, or any other dub. I insist on watching everything in its original language, whatever language that may be. Even if it's English. Uh, but the original language for Ranma One Half is obviously Japanese, and I'm not watching the English dub. I insist on the original language, so only subtitled version for this boy. Luckily, Hulu has uh, both sub and dub versions, so I thought I was going to have to go find it on another streaming service or maybe rent the Volume 1 DVD or something like that. Uh, but no, Hulu had the... So I you know, wasted a couple minutes, had to turn it off and restart it, and then sit through the damn commercials again, because Hulu, even though you pay for it, sometimes... You're going to get commercials anyway. Oh well. So, Ranma one half. How is it? Um, in my subjective opinion. Uh, kind of somewhere between uh, Urusei Yatsura and Mason Ikoku. Um, it's goofier than Mason Ikoku, but not as outright silly as Urusei Yatsura. Um, it's, it's very 80s. Um, but I, I, again, I, I've always, I, I find, uh, uh, Rumiko Takahashi's style charming and cute. And same thing here with Ranma One Half. Uh, the setup's funny. The, the jokes are well-timed, well-presented, and land. I thought it was funny. There's just not as many as you would have in something overtly silly like Urusei Yatsura. Um, 
But it's also somewhat similar to Masoni Koku in that it seems to be a bunch of people living together in a place and the way they interact. Right? Um, so, uh, basic premise is uh, there's an arranged marriage between uh, two families. Uh, the, the father of one family is a longtime friend of the father of another family. The other family's father has a son. This father has uh, three daughters. So he says, all right, bring your boy over and have him pick one of the daughters because who gives a shit? <laughs> you know? um, and um, complications arise because Ranma, while uh, born male, is under some weird Chinese curse. Cause, and the, the curse is actually very funny. I'll get to that in a bit. Uh, where he, you know, turns into a woman whenever he gets splashed with cold water. However, splashed with hot water, uh, reverts him back to male. So, he shows up in female form. And they're like, oh, well, I, I, I thought it was a boy. Okay. So... There's a giant panda, <laughs> just a giant panda, that's dragging, uh, it turns out that uh, the, the, the giant panda is actually Ranma's dad. He actually turns into a giant panda when he gets splashed with cold water. You see, uh, Ranma and his dad are big into martial arts, and they went to train in China, and they went to the secret Chinese hot spring place, but they didn't actually read the brochure. Because if they'd read the brochure, they would have read, oh, it's cursed, don't go in the water, because it will curse you. And the curses are all very specific. It's like, oh, what? Ha why am I a panda? Well, you see, sir, if you would have read the sign, or taken the tour, uh, you'd you'd know that that is the pool of cursed pandaness. It's like, why am I a girl? Oh, well, you fell in the pool of cursed womanness. So, now you're a woman every time you get wet. Guess you should have read the brochure, which is... Kind of a pretty funny conceit, if you ask me. Um, from a modern day perspective, uh, a lot of folks who haven't seen the show, and myself included, uh, hear the premise. Uh, anime from the eight, well, very late eighties. Was it like eighty nine or something? Um, does it say eighty nine? Hey, all right. Um, you know. Uh, anime that's over 30 years old, uh, the premise being a dude who changes into a woman when he gets wet and goes back and forth in the relationship drama that ensues there. From a modern perspective, you're probably thinking, ooh, that's potentially problematic. Not necessarily, of course, but potentially, especially considering it's something that's over 30 years old. Live above me quietly, gall darn it! If I can hear you, you're too loud! Float! Stop touching the floor! I don't want to hear you walk around! I don't know if that, that's going to be... Well, that's going to be very odd regardless. Um, I can hear my neighbors and I don't like it. So, um, from at least the first episode... Could you come away with some type of anti-trans reading on this show? For me, no. Happily, no. However, it is sexist. Let me back that up. The show, based on the first episode, does not seem to be sexist. The parents are. The, the, the two fathers, they are sexist. You know, the whole arranged marriage thing, of course. But also, um, Ranma's father does the whole, Oh, I'm so ashamed, my boy is a girl, shame, shame! You know, that kind of a thing. There's also the whole thing like with, like, here's daughter 1, 19, daughter 2, 17, daughter 3, 16. Pick one. Yeah, so... My reading on the show is the show uh, thinks that's sexist and stupid. 
So, is the show sexist? I don't read it as such, at least not from the first episode. Is there any uh, anti-trans bigotry in it? I'm not reading any from the first episode. Um, Ranma changing, uh, changing genders is surprising, obviously, because, you know, magic. But once that's out in the open, the characters are just like, eh, okay. They're just completely accepting of it. They're just actually kind of bored with it because uh, Ranma and his panda father are fighting over the whole switch and back and forth and they're all just... These two people are dipshits. <laughs> you know? So, um... I, that, that makes me very happy. Um... Let's see, what else do I want to talk about? Uh, it, it, it also has an... It, it does some of the humor, and th this is a, a broad... It seems to be, rather, I'm certainly not an expert in Japan, but it seems to be broadly a cultural thing where... Just, you know, grabbing someone's boobs is funny. No, it's not sexual assault. It's funny. Even when they ask you to stop. Tee <laughs> boobs. You know, because uh, they're expecting a dude to show up. Ranma in woman form comes up and they're like, and Ranma's like, would you please stop that? <laughs> you know, and that happens like twice with one of the daughters just like, well, she's a girl now. Look, squeezy, squeezy, squeezy. She's like, please stop. Yes, p please stop. Don't do that. I don't want you grabbing my groin. So I don't grab your breasts. Keep your hands to yourself. Oh, but it's funny. No, it's not. It's actually kind of funny that you think it's funny. You have a bad sense of humor. Bad sense of humor. Bad. Um... But if you can get beyond that, a lot of the jokes actually do land. Uh, there's a lot of walking in in the in the changing room or the bathroom uh, of characters. I mean, it's it's your typical uh, scenario that you see in a lot of these shows. But the jokes do land. Uh, Ranma, in woman form, goes into the bath, dumps water over his head, uh, flips to a dude, and is sitting there in the bath. And, uh, meanwhile, uh, the youngest daughter, the 16-year-old, is, uh, she's like, okay, well, Lady Ranma's in the bath, I'm gonna go get in there too. Which, as an American, and as a body-shy, squeamish, anti-social nitwit, really makes me uncomfortable. But apparently bathe them together is, like, not a big deal, for the most part. So, eh, different cultures. What you gonna do? Uh, so uh, the daughter, go, you know, walks into the bathroom, takes off her robe, opens the door, right as uh, r boy Ranma stands up, and she goes. And now, you're probably thinking, the joke is she's gonna go, ah! but nope, she just shuts the door, puts the robe back on, turns around and walks out. Then she screams. It's really well timed. Well, well, well done. Well done. Um, she's also one of those uh, characters who's just, for some reason, freakishly strong. Well, it must be uh, Rumiko Takahashi must like that character archetype because Shinobu has a uh, is also one of those just absurdly strong characters. She has like superhuman strength for some reason. Um, and so does uh, this one, because she picks up a table with one hand and is about to go brain him. Um, let's see. Uh, also, I really uh, enjoy the fact that had you asked me before I watched the first episode, I would have assumed that the fact that Ranma flips genders when wet, it's a weird sentence, uh, is, um, or changes genders when, when wet, rather, um, I figured that would probably be something that he'd be keeping a secret and you know the, the a lot of the humor of the show would be based on the shenanigans of 
uh, trying to play dual roles, you know, like Superman and Clark Kent or something like that, and trying to trick these people into thinking there's actually two different people and they're not the same person. No, the see, the cat's out of the bag immediately, and I like that. That that's 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 cool. That, that's nice. I like that. Um, what else? What else? What else? That's about it, I guess. Uh, it's going to be a relationship drama between uh, the youngest daughter and Ranma. Uh, you know, she and him are starting off definitely on the wrong foot. And I imagine over several seasons they will uh, figure each other out and uh, get along. Yeah. Uh, will I watch any more? I probably not. I, I, I don't think so. Uh, it didn't really grab me. It seems fine, you know. Um, you know, I like a lot of what it's doing, and I like a lot of what it's not doing. But uh, I, I can't really say the first episode anyway it, is uh, it really grabbed me. So, uh, but I'm glad I, uh, you know. Got to sample it because I, I'm broadly a fan of uh, Rumiko Takahashi's work. So uh, glad I uh, filled one of the uh, gaps in her oeuvre. So, um, all right, that's it for me. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.